to a brilliant new whiteness, a new kind of radiant whiteness in a single of washing. And second, clothes keep a brilliant new whiteness.
Well, well, and how is our star border this morning? Fine. <laughs> you want your breakfast now? Oh, just my fruit juice. Yeah. I'll drink it while I dress and have my breakfast later. Yeah, I was going to wait you. Oh, I wish you had. I have to get to the library early today and check out some books before anyone else gets them. Yes, you want to study hard, Marie. Learn to be a fine artist one day. I remember a picture my mother had over the mantelpiece at home. It was a, a cathedral in a sunset. Made you feel religious just to look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These books aren't for art, though. They're for biology. Biology? Why do they make you take biology? It's required. Didn't yeah. you have to take it when you were in school? Why, well, sure, but then I was a medical student, you see. Uh, and so, of course, I had to take biology and things like that. Oh. What happened? Didn't you like the pre-med course? Yeah, I liked it, liked it fine, liked it a lot. I graduated. You graduated? Yep. <laughs> and did my medical training, my internship. But you never practiced? Yeah, 12 years I did, practiced 12 years. Well, didn't you like being a doctor? What happened? Well, I had to give it up. Why? I, I, I got sick. I'll put your sweet roll in there, Marie, and then you can eat it when you want. It'll be nice and warm for you. You're the greatest, Dr. Delaney. I mean, you're so nice to your wife, and you're so nice to me. You're just so nice to everybody. Oh. And I sure hope my husband's as nice as you are. Oh, you know that most that... husbands would never think of getting their own breakfast? <laughs> Why don't you sit down now and, uh, yeah, sit here, Marie, and I'll, I'll serve you your breakfast right now. <laughs> and we can eat together, the two of us. Oh, no, I, I like to bathe first and feel that yes. I'm fresh and clean to start the day. Yeah. Gonna hop in the tub now. See you later. Yeah. Fresh and clean. sleep like I used to. I used to be able to sleep until noon if I wanted to, but I can't anymore. I don't know why. Habits change. Mm. Here's your fruit juice. Oh, Doc, I'd be getting your breakfast instead of you getting mine. I'd have to get up anyway, baby. <sighs> Had another dream last night. About oh, little Sheba. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Doc, it was just as real. Yeah, I dreamed that I had her on a leash and I was taking her downtown to go shopping, you know? And everybody on the street stopped to admire her and I was so proud. But then all of a sudden we kept on walking and all the blocks started to go past so fast that pretty soon little Sheba couldn't keep up with me. And then I looked around and little Sheba's gone. Isn't that funny? I looked everywhere for her and I couldn't find her. And I just stood there feeling kind of afraid. What do you suppose that means? Dreams are funny. Yeah. You suppose it means she might be coming back? <laughs> I don't know, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I miss her so much. No, I know. I know. I'm sure it's both since she's a cute little puppy. Oh, she certainly was. She <laughs> certainly was cute. You remember how, how white and fluffy she looked when uh, I used to give her a bath? Oh, after just her, after the bath. Yeah, yeah, after a bath. You remember, too, how her little hind end used to waggle when yeah. she walked? You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. She was cute. I sure hated to see her grow old, though. Mm. Well, Sheba should have stayed young forever. Yeah. Oh, some things should never grow old. That's what it amounts to, I guess. Yeah, she's been gone a long time. I wonder what ever happened to her. Can't ever tell. Oh, Doc, do you suppose she got run over by a bus or something? Mm. Well, maybe that Mrs. Kaufman next door probably poisoned her or something. I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> she just disappeared. That's all we know. Yeah, just vanished. Vanished into thin air.
Said your prayer, Doc? Yes, baby. I ask God to be with you and keep you strong all through the day. Yes, baby. Then God will be with you, because he's been with you almost a whole year from now. Mm. You know? Mm. I'm so proud of you, Doc. Sometimes I feel sort of proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say your prayer for me, Doc. Huh? Yeah, I like to hear it. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom always to tell the difference. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. When I think about how you used to get drunk and go and get fighting and, ugh, I was so scared of you. A long time ago, baby. Oh. Now I know how you're going to be when you come home. <laughs> <laughs> Never could have done it without you. Yeah, well, here's to being sober for almost a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. a year old but a month. Mm -hmm. for a while. Oh, good. You can take me to the movies then. Oh, I'm awful sorry, baby. I can't. I All this week, I have to go out on 12-step work with Ed, Ed Anderson. That? Why, I showed you the 12 steps that alcoholics have to follow, didn't I? Well, it's uh, this is the final one. Uh, after you've learned to stay sober yourself, then you go out and help other poor guys that need it. Hmm? Yeah. When we help others, we help ourselves. Yeah, that's right. You know, when I help Marie do something, I always feel better myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a lot different from that, baby. When I go out and help some poor guy, I have to give him courage. Courage to stay sober like I stayed sober. And all oh, alcoholics, disappointed man, they need courage. Important thing is to forget the past and live in the present and stay sober doing it. Yeah. Well, who's going to help tonight? Some guy they picked up on Skid Row last night. Took him up to City Hospital. I kind of dread it. Yeah, I did some 12th step there once before. You know, they put the alcoholics right in with the crazy people. There was one guy up there with his, um, with his hands clamped together so he couldn't kill anyone. And it was a young man, just a young man. He, he tore the cornea from his eyes. Ooh, yeah, duck, he, duck. He, he blinded himself. Oh, yeah. it seems a shame to put somebody in a place like that just because he got drunk. Well, he'll sober a man up. That's the important thing. Let's not talk about it anymore. Maybe Marie will go with you. Hmm? Uh, Marie's probably going out someplace with Turk. Marie's too nice a girl to go around with a guy like Turk. Why, Turk's a nice boy. A guy like him doesn't have any respect for nice girls. You can tell that by looking at him. Well, I never saw Mar Marie objecting to the lovemaking. Well, he probably forces her to kiss him. Oh, that's not so. 
I was coming in the back one day when they were in the front and she oh, was wow. kissing him. Like Marie's a nice Rudolph. girl, honey. She, she is a nice girl. A nice girl. Yeah. I said they were well, doing some tall stuff. Honey, I don't want to hear any more about it. Huh? Don't you make out like every girl is Jennifer Jones and Song of Bernadette? I do not. I just like to believe that young people like her are clean and decent. Listen, there's an extra sweet robe for you in there, if you want. I didn't want mine this morning. Oh, once plenty, thanks. <laughs> How soon will you be leaving this morning? As soon as I finish my breakfast. Yeah. Well, I'll wait, and we can walk to the main corner together. Oh, I'm sorry, Doc. Turk's coming by. He's got to go to the library, too. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not going to be competition with an intercollegiate all-star. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss Daddy goodbye. Bye-bye. Listen, if you get hungry now, you come home and I'm going to fix you okay. something, all right? Okay. Aren't you going to kiss me, Dr. Delaney? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Can't spend my time kissing all the girls. <laughs> oh, I think Dr. Delaney's so nice. Yeah. Bye, Doc. Honey, would you hold my cup for me? What time did you say Turk was coming by? Oh. Said he'd be about 9.30. Oh. Oh, Mrs. Delaney, I'm expecting a telegram this morning. Oh, no bad news, I hope. No, it's from Bruce. Oh, your boyfriend in Cincinnati? Yeah. Oh, is he coming to see you? I guess so. Oh, good. I'm dying to meet him. Really, Mrs. Delaney, you know, you and Doc have been so nice to me. I just want you to know I appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you. You know, you've been like a father and mother to me. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, honey. Mm. Turk was saying just the other night we're good sports, you both are. No kidding. Mm. Oh, I like that, Turk. He reminds me of a boy I used to go to high school with. Named Dutch McCoy. <laughs> Where'd you ever meet him? Art class. Turk takes art? No. He was modeling. A lot of the athletes do that. Pays him a dollar an hour. Oh, no kidding. That's nice. Mm. Mm. Mrs. Delaney, mm -hmm. um, I got some corrections to make on some of my drawings. Would it be okay if I brought Turk home one afternoon to pose for me? Oh, sure. Thanks. There's a contest on now. They're giving a prize for the best drawing to be used for advertising to spring relays. Oh, so you're gonna draw a picture of Turk then, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, boy. Oh, listen, you know, Doc is gonna be away for the next couple of nights. You and Turk could have the, have the living room all to yourself if you want. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mind if I do some sweeping around in your room? No, no, go ahead. Mm -hmm. well, tell me all about Bruce. Well, comes from one of the best families in Cincinnati. Mm. And he lives in a great big house. He's got a maid, too. You don't say. Yeah. And he makes $300 a month. Oh, my. Mm. <laughs> Stays in all the best hotels, too. His company insists on it. Yeah. You like him as well as you like Turek? Bruce is so dependable. And... Yeah, yeah. You gonna marry him? Maybe. After I graduate college and he feels he can support a wife and lots of children. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to have lots of children, too. You know, when I lost my baby and I found out I couldn't have any more, I didn't know what I was gonna do with myself. I told Doc I wanted to get a job, but he wouldn't hear of it. Well, Bruce is going to come into a lot of money one day. 
His uncle made a fortune in men's garters. Yeah? Mm. Bob, you know something. Doc was very rich when we got married. Mm. Mm. His mother left him $25,000 in her will. Really? Yeah, and he had a great practice. Well, what happened to it? Well, it took a lot of money to get his office started and everything, you know. Mm. Yeah. Why did Doc give up medicine? Well, got sick. Mm. But he's, he's very good to me now. Mm. Oh, Dr. Yeah. Peach. Mm, yeah. Mm. Hmm. You mind? <laughs> you know, I used to be pretty like you. I did. I was a beauty queen in high school. <laughs> yeah, but my father was so straight. He once he caught me holding hands with Dutch McCoy, you know? Mm. He sent Dutch home. He wouldn't let me go out after supper for a whole month. He was afraid the boys would get the wrong idea. <laughs> I never had any fun at all until I met Doc. Uh, you know, mm. sometimes I'm glad I didn't know my father. Doc was the only man my father would let me go out with. <laughs> you know, because he was older and he was settled and a doctor and everything. Mm. So we got married that spring. Mm. Did you have a big wedding? You know, your folks know? No, we eloped. <laughs> yeah, we came here and we got married. <laughs> what did your father think of that? Well, I didn't get back home after that. Mm. Of course, my mother comes down here from Green Valley to visit me, though, you know? Oh, oh that'll be Turk. Mm. I'll go entertain him while you're getting dressed, mm. all right? Thanks. Just a second, Turk. Hi, Miss Delaney. Well, you were an early caller this morning. Well, we got to get over to the library. I haven't cracked a book yet for that biology exam. And Marie says she's going to help me. Mm -hmm. Man, aren't you getting chilly in just that little shirt? Well, hell no. I go around like this right in the middle of the winter. Hmm. I'm glad you're a big husky boy. You ought to be playing those Tarzan movies, you know? Do you mind if I just give her? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Marie, you want to hurry up in there or what? She just doesn't realize how busy I am, Mrs. Delaney. I've only got a half hour study at the most. I report the coach at 10.30. Oh, uh, what are you coaching for now? Uh, spring track, javelin. What's that? What's what, javelin? A javelin, mm -hmm. Well, I'll show you. It's a big old long lance, yeah? And you hold it up like this, see? Erect, mm -hmm. with me so far? Yeah. So you take it back and you let it go. <laughs> just go singing through the air. If any good at it, lands yards away. Sticks in the ground just a quiver like an arrow. My. <laughs> hey, now you ought to get Marie to bring you by the track field some afternoon. You can watch me work out a while. Oh, that would be thrilling, you yeah. Like that, huh? mm -hmm, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hiya, Juicy. We'll see you later, Miss Delaney. Bye. Oh! Don't forget now, you and Chuck can have the house to yourselves for the next couple of nights. And you can play the radio and dance and make a plate of fudge or do whatever you want to, all right? Okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on. See, you You know, you're a real swell skirt, Mrs. Delaney. Well, thank you. Sheba! Sheba! 
know my husband, Joe. Remember, of Alcoholics Anonymous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he wouldn't be embarrassed about my telling you that because he's really proud of it, you know. Yeah, he hadn't had a drink in almost a year. And all this time, we've had that bottle back there in the, in the, in the cupboard for a guest. He hadn't even gone near it. Hadn't wanted to. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know, alcoholics, they can't drink like other people. They're allergic to it. Allergic? Mm-hmm. Makes them mean and violent, and they want to fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I know. Mm. I know. But if they don't touch alcohol, they're just fine, just like you and me. You should have seen Doc when he was drinking. He lost all his patience, and uh, he wouldn't go to the office. He just wanted to stay home and be drunk all the time. And he'd come home at night. Uh, but you see him now. Uh, you know, he's, yeah, he got his, all his patience back. Oh, he's yeah, fine. Yeah, he's fine, huh? just fine, yeah. Which is more than I can say for you. <laughs> yeah, what for? Well, it's been two weeks since I've gotten a letter. Now, if you don't do better than that, I've got to get another mailman. <laughs> Lady, I can't do nothing about that. I'm sorry. Uh, Plus, of course, uh, I write you a letter myself. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. What you do that? Bye now. You got to go? Yeah. Well, well. Bye. It'll be this time, lady. Let me see. Uh, ooh, got any cottage cheese? Lady, we always got cottage cheese. Okay. Shucks, all you got to do is just check the items on this here yeah, little card and we're leaving know, for I you. I always mean to, and you always get here before I think of it. All you got to do is you just check the items yeah. on this card. Listen, I think card I need uh, uh, leaving for you. half a pint of coffee cream. Coffee cream, yeah. yeah. And, uh, 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 let me see. A quart of buttermilk. Buttercream. Yeah, my butter husband milk. just loves buttermilk butter butter. now that he stopped drinking. You butter know, cream. my husband's an alcoholic. Did I ever tell you that? Not lately. Really? Well, as a matter of fact, he hasn't been drinking in a long time. Oh, yeah? Hello? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You got the wrong number. Well, listen, what number... busy this morning, Mrs. Kaufman? Being busy is being happy. Yeah, I guess so. When you've got seven kids to look after, you've got no time to sit around the house, Mrs. Delaney. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You know, I don't think my, my little puppy is ever going to come back, Mrs. Kaufman. I sure do miss her. The only way to keep from missing one dog is to get another. Yeah. Sweet little Sheba just vanished. Just vanished in the thin air. You should get busy, Mrs. Delaney. You should get busy and forget her. Mm. Hey, Mrs. Kaufman, why don't you come over and have a cup of coffee? We could have a little chat. I got work to do, Mrs. Delaney. I got work. A uh, telegram from Miss Marie Bachholder. Uh, oh, yeah, well, Marie isn't home right now. Well, uh, sign here, will you? The new kind of radiant whiteness in a single wash. Second, clothes keep a brilliant new whiteness for all the years you wash them. They stay white for life. Uh, come on, you can change in my room. Change? You gotta take his clothes off. What? Well, these drawings are for my life class. You mean he's gonna pose naked? No, the women do, but the men always keep covered. Yeah, he's gonna pose in his tracksuit. Oh, I see. <laughs> but that's funny, though. If the women pose naked and the men don't? What more could we want? Well, if it's all right for a woman, why isn't it all right for a man? 
Well, don't take my head off. Men are always more proper. The thing is... Mm. Hurry up, Turk! Okay, okay, I'm ready. Well, how do you want this lovely body? St. Paul's took an art class? Yeah. Anything in the house I can use for a javelin? Uh, is there Mrs. Delaney? Oh, sure, how about the broom? Perfect. All right, Mr. Smith. She said that now she's looking for contentment. She feels relaxed. She's comfortable with car. Hey, oh, yeah. Put your foot in more that way. How's that? Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, I can't bring myself. Oh, Marie, that's pretty. It's very artistic, you know? I wish I was artistic. Come on, baby, hurry up. I can't hold this pose very long at a time. Rest whenever you feel like it. If I do a good drawing, I'll use it to advertise the spring relays. Yeah, you told me. Excuse me. Hard pose. Gets me right in the shoulder. Yeah, I bet it does. You want me to fix some coffee? Oh, that'd be real nice. All right. Here. She's making her feel naked. I can't very well keep her out of her own house, can I? Well, what's her problem anyway? She's never seen a man before. Well, not a big, beautiful man like you, Turkey. Turkey. Hi, Doc. Hello, sir. You know what Marie said then? She said that the women pose naked and the men don't. Well, of course, honey. Well, why is that? Well, if it's all right for a woman, why isn't it all right for a man? But the man always stays covered, that's what well, I said. That's just it should be, honey. A man, after all, is a man, and he, uh, well, he has to protect himself. Against what? Well, uh, When a woman doesn't? It's different, honey. Um, sometimes a man, uh, well, something happens, you know. A secret. What? Bruce is coming. Who? Bruce, you know, Marie's boyfriend from Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. Is that so? Mm -hmm. And I told him, and when he came to town, the dinner was on us, all right? So I'm going to get out the best china and I'm going to fix the best dinner you ever sat down mm -hmm. to. When she got the news? Telegram came this morning. Oh, that's fine. That Bruce sounds like just the right fella for her. I want that to, to, to stop hanging around here. It's wrong of him when she's engaged to marry Bruce. Mm, Turk's you a nice always boy. stick up for him. You encourage him. Don't get upset about it. All right. But if anything happens to that girl, I'll never forgive you. NBC. The time is now seven o'clock. And now some modern music brought to you by Walden's, makers of modern furniture.
I can be a good housekeeper after all, Doc. <laughs> House hasn't looked like this in years. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured what with Bruce coming and everything, I had to do my spring cleaning one of these days. Excuse me. Hey, can we get some peppy music? What time do you have to meet Ed? I still have a little time left. Oh. You know, Marie's sure gonna be glad that I cleaned up the house. Because now she can, you know, she can bring Bruce over and she can entertain him here. Hey, you know, maybe we could even have a party. A little party. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yes. Remember how much I used to dance, Doc? I was always dancing, remember that? Sure. Yeah. Remember when we met at that dance? At the homecoming dance? Remember that? I went with Charlie Kettlecamp and we won the Charleston contest. Yeah, and I sprained my ankle, remember? And Charlie Kettlecamp, he went up to the, uh, to the platform and then he grabbed the microphone and he says, we seem to have had a slight accident. Is there a doctor in the house? Remember that? <laughs> Here, move over. Honey, I'm, I'm trying to read. And you remember? He was still asking, is there a doctor in the house? And you were already holding onto my ankle. And you were turning it like this, yeah. like that, very gently, yeah. and asking me if it hurt, remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Charlie got so mad, I remember, because he didn't really believe you were a doctor. And you looked at him. And I said, my goodness, that man is jealous of Charlie Kettlecamp. I was not jealous. Doc, you were, oh, you were too. You were jealous of Charlie Kettlecamp. <laughs> and you know there was nothing between me and Charlie Kettlecamp. I never accused Kettle you of that. Right? Never. You remember when I had to go to the office and get the treatments for my ankle, Doc? All those treatments. And even after I didn't have to have them anymore, you kept saying, Stop by my office tomorrow and I'll take another look at that ankle. <laughs> Long time ago. Uh, and all the boys used to come by the office and pick me up, remember? Yeah. Oh, remember yeah. Hands bite yeah. me, you remember hands? Yeah. Hands bite yeah. me and Dush McCoy. Oh, sure. You, Sammy you Knight, were the and it you girl, got baby. jealous. Oh! The it girl of 1929. Hmm. Well, I do remember you came by my my mother and father's house, and you talked to them, and then we sat out on the porch, and we swang and swang, and you said, I don't want you to go out with those boys anymore because they're yep. not serious, remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, Doc, I saved all my days from it. You did not. As far right? as I know, baby, as far as I, I know. I did, too. I always did. <laughs> I never took another day with anybody else. How could I? They were all boys, just compared to you. <laughs> That's all forgotten now, baby. Doc, how can you say that? Oh, that those were the happiest days of our life. Honey, I... Doc, do you remember when we used to walk down to that old chapel? Uh, that was when you first kissed me. Remember that? And you said that you'd never loved anybody in all those years because until you met me, mm -hmm. you'd never seen anybody you could love forever. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. You told me that, and you said if I didn't marry you, you were gonna die. Because I remember that scared me. I'd never heard anybody say anything like that I before. I know, I and know. And you remember then, baby. Doc, we lay down in the grass, and you kissed me, and you kissed me all night long. Do you remember? Baby, you've got to forget those things. It was years ago. Yeah. Those years have just vanished. Vanished into thin air. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they just disappeared like little Sheba. <laughs> Maybe you're sorry you married me, Linda. Oh, well, I mean, you didn't know I was gonna get old and sloppy. 
I am old and sloppy. But I didn't know it either. Are you sorry you married me? Of course not, baby. Dad. I mean, are you sorry you had to marry me? Now, baby, we were never gonna talk about that. Never. Huh? No. You know, you were the first one, Doc. I mean, you were the only one. I would have hated it if you hadn't believed that. You know, you were just so nice and, and so proper. I didn't think anything we did together could be wrong or make us unhappy. Do you think what we did was wrong? No, baby. Of course I don't. Yeah, but we thought so then, didn't we? Having the baby with nobody knowing about it. Uh, baby, don't think about that now. I don't think now. anybody knew about it except my well, folks. I don't too. see how they could. Oh, God. I wish that baby had lived. Uh, baby, I couldn't take you to the hospital. You know I, I couldn't know, do that. I'm not blaming you. I mean, a lot of women have babies, and they don't even have a doctor there. And I know you did the best you could because you're a good doctor. It's just that, you know, if we'd had that baby, she'd have been grown up now. Please. And maybe you would have saved your money and she would have gone to college like Marie, oh, you know? Honey, Do you please. think you... Stop it, baby, stop. You must never feel bad about what's past. If you can't forget the past, then you stay in it and you never get out. I might be a... A big MD now instead of a chiropractor. We might have a family to raise and be with us now. I might have a lot of money still if I kept my head and invested it properly instead of uh, getting drunk every night. We might have a nice home with comforts and friends. We don't have any of those things, so what? Got to keep on living, don't we? I can't just stop because I made a few mistakes. I've got to keep going. Somehow. I, I wish you wouldn't ask me questions like that. It, we, let's not talk about it anymore. I gotta keep going and, and not let things upset me. Or, or, or what, doggy? I saw enough at the hospital last night. Keep me sober a long time. Oh, Doc. Maybe you ought not to go over there and see things like that. Do you have to go? Of course I do, baby. I promise. I promise. Same time, same place. Good night. This is station WNBZ in downtown Delmar, Kansas. The time is coming up to a quarter past the hour. Say, you farmers better get out bright and early tomorrow because our friends down at the Weather Bureau say that old cold front is still a coming our way. And speaking of cold well, I don't know why we're being so serious to tonight. Special <laughs> bargains on harvesting Let's equipment. Some... Yes, sir, it's seasonal <laughs> sale time at Bilson's of Del Mar. Harvest time is still months away, but it's bargain time now. So don't wait till the last minute. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doc, you know, we ought to go dancing more often. Maybe it'd be good for us. Hmm? Oh, that, remember that? What was that? <laughs> Burn and Ivy. Go! And it jumped. Oh, old Charles. The, as long as I sprained my ankle again. <laughs> what was that? I remember that one. That was the same. What's the other thing we can do? The thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? A jig? This is the way. I'm a Yeah. What's been going on around here? Uh.
Lola got to feel industrious. Wait till you see the kitchen. Blue gingham on the windows. You wouldn't know it. I mean, I can't believe I'm in the same place. I think your boyfriend will like it. Oh, you know how men are. Turk never notices things like that. Turk. Oh, what's the matter, honey? I don't know. Do you feel bad about something? No, I don't. I just wish you hadn't seen me dancing like that. It made me feel kind of silly. Why, you're a fine dancer. No, it just makes me feel silly. My telegram's here. When did it come? Oh, it came this morning. Oh, Bruce is coming. He's arriving tomorrow. Uh, 5 p.m. CST, flight 22, love Bruce. Oh. So it came this morning now. It's great that I got the house all cleaned oh, up. Yeah. Uh, listen, would you like to invite Bruce to come over to dinner tomorrow night? No, kind of like a, a wedding present for me and Doc. Oh, that would be terrific, but I don't want you to go to any trouble. Anymore. Oh, no trouble. It'd be my pleasure. Oh, that must be here. Yeah. Oh, hey, listen. Uh, don't say anything about the telegram, OK? Oh, yeah. Yeah. With my big mouth, maybe you better go to the door. <laughs> She'll be right here, sir. Why didn't you give Marie the telegram when it came? Well, I thought maybe I ought to get the house cleaned up first before I asked her to invite Bruce up. I was afraid she might say no. <laughs> Baby, it's just not nice to open other people's mail. Well, I guess I'm just not nice. <laughs> Is that what you said? No, Baby. What harm is there in it? All I did was steamed it open, and then I sealed it right back. She'll never know the difference. Now, what harm is there in that? Okay, baby, if you can't see any harm in it, then I guess I can't explain oh, it. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Will you forgive me? I forgive you. I gotta go. Beautiful young people make love in the movies. They're beautiful. Why it's should not I? It's not right for Marie to do that, particularly since Bruce is coming home. He, you like that fellow Turk, and I know he's no good. I think I ought to run him out of the house. You, you. Okay, if they do now, hear me. Don't get upset. Now, Bruce is coming, and Turk isn't going to be around anymore. I promise you, all right? All right. Get my hat ready. It's by the door. I'll walk you down to the corner, all right? Just a minute. Hey, kid. I'm going to walk Doc down to the corner, OK? OK. <laughs> We're going to go out the back. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> Junior. 
back a little bit. Yeah. Let's get down to some real work. Come on Come over. On. Girl. Not tonight, okay? Well, who the hell are you saving it for? I'm not. Huh? Look, can't we just sit and talk for once? <laughs> oh, boy, all right. Say, have you read the Kinsey Report, Miss Buckholder? Stupid. Now, how old were you when you had your first affair? Don't. Hey, did you ever have relations with your grandfather? Don't! Well, thank you very much, Miss Buckholder, for a very pleasant evening. I really enjoyed the little talk, too. Turk. Well, I guess I'm just a man of action, baby. Don't go. Why not? Don't do any good around here. Come on, don't go. What was all that about? Not tonight, Turk. Stop it, Turk. Let's talk about philosophy, Turk. When you know all the time, if I had walked out of here without giving you a good loving up, you'd just be sore as hell now, wouldn't you? Huh? Well... See, it's true, ain't it? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, look, honey, I... I, I know I, I kind of talk awful rough around you sometimes. Fact is, I just never been much of a gentlemanly... But, uh, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I hope you don't mind it. I mean, you just must realize that I'm just nuts about you. Can't you see that? Are you? Sure I am. Oh! What's your last I was just I was just not. I was. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to hurt you. You! Oh! 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 <laughs> Tonight? Well... Come on, let's go. <laughs> Look, tonight will never come again. Tonight will never come again? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Come what? on, let's go out and get some news. Come on, you know we can't come back till they're asleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've only got about a half a dog. It's like that now. <laughs> Sheba, Sheba,
Anybody home? Wow. Good morning, Mrs. Kaufman. So, this is what you've been up to, Mrs. Delaney. Good Lord, i never seen such activity. Yesterday, all day, and now again this morning. I like your new curtains. Well, I watched you. you putting them up. <laughs> what got into you, lady? Well, I, I got company coming. Um, Marie's boyfriend is coming in from Cincinnati to visit. <laughs> Dear God, you done your spring house cleaning all in one day. I take my hat off to you, Mrs. Delaney. Well, he's, he's coming at five o'clock, you see. And even Doc is going to come home and help me, and I'm going to make this great dinner. I'm going to make stuffed pork chops and twice baked potatoes mm. and asparagus and, <laughs> and a big chocolate cake and ice cream. <laughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah, a bit. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm not now, Mrs. Delaney. Seeing your house so clean makes me feel ashamed. I got to get home and get to work. I thought I might feel a little better if I had a little soda. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Good morning. Good morning. Need any help? Oh, yeah, you can help me for that, but I don't need a table in the living room. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice if we had a dining room, wouldn't it? But if we had a dining room, we wouldn't have you, Marie. You know, I was one who thought up to changing the dining room into into a bedroom and renting it out, you know? That's the doctor's trick. I thought of a lot of things like that to make extra money. Hey, uh, or the napkins. Oh, I forgot. They're so nice. I keep them upstairs in a drawer with my handkerchiefs. Uh -huh. Doc, are you all right? Yeah. Doc's always been a little delicate, you know. He was an only child with his mother. Thought the sun rose and set on him. Brought him up like a real gentleman. And every Sunday, Doc took his mother to church. Oh, well, he's a real gentleman. I know. He treats women like beautiful angels. <laughs> you know, we went together for a whole year before he ever even kissed me. Doc, you going to the office? Yep. Well, wait a minute. Now, because Bruce is coming, I want you to help me entertain him, all right? You feeling all right? Continuing now from the Shelby Hotel Restaurant in downtown Topeka, where our own Pound Court Orchestra plays Fascination. Here. Oh, thanks. You excited? Mm-hmm. It's funny, isn't it? Here we are, both of us waiting for our men. <laughs> you think Bruce is gonna like me? If he doesn't, I'll never speak to him again, that's all. Well, I can't wait to meet him. But you know, I'm kinda sorry I never did anything nice for Turk. Oh. 
Did Doc ever say anything to you about Turk and me? Mm-mm, why? I just wondered. Jim Marie, what is Bruce gonna think about you going with somebody else? Oh, Bruce and I had a very business-like understanding before I left for school. You know, that we weren't gonna sit around lonely just because we were separated. Yeah, but isn't that kind of mean to Turk? I don't think so. Well, I mean, what's gonna happen to Turk when Bruce comes? Hmm? Oh, he's had his eye on a pretty little Spanish girl in history class for a long time. I like Turk, but he's just not the marrying kind, you know? He's not? No. What's the matter? I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of tired. Sweetheart. I'm fine. Oh, good, good, good. Did you get my wire? Sure. You're looking swell. Oh, Bruce, this is Mrs. Delaney. This is Bruce. How do you do, ma'am? How do you do? Marie has told me a lot of very nice things about you in her letters. She has? Oh, well, uh... Come on inside. Hmm? Oh, here, let me take a step. Uh, here, let me. No, I've got oh. it. I've got it. Yeah. Okay. Mrs. Delaney has fixed the grandest dinner for us. No, that was to be my treat. I got a big expense account now, honey. I thought we could all go down to the hotel. Have dinner there, and then celebrate first with a few cocktails. Uh, well, well, we can have cocktails here. Uh, just, you all go into the living room, and I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> okay. Honey, are we going to have to stay here the whole evening? Oh, we can't just eat and run right away. Look, we'll get away as soon as we can, okay? Well, I hope so. I got the race, sweetheart. They're giving me new territory. So since uh, we got rid of Jim Thompson, that gives me a lot of room well, for the... Well, uh, I guess we're just going to have to go on without Doc. Oh, why? What happened to him, Mr. Delaney? I guess he just got hung up at the office. You know, just one of those things. Come on, Bruce, sit down. Well, you know, it's all right, because uh, we're all ready now, anyway. Uh, um, you know what I'm going to do? You know, three's the crowd, so tonight I'm just going to be the butler and serve dinner to you two lovebirds. <laughs> okay? Well, now, you entertain yourselves for a little while, all right? While I go and get the first course, I'll, I'll turn up the, the radio just a little bit. Okay? Back in a minute. Hello, Mr. Anderson. <coughs> this is Mrs. Delaney. Yes. Have you seen Doc? No, he left this morning and he hasn't come home yet. No, no, you see, we got company for dinner and he was supposed to come home early and help me. No, no, that's not all. You know, we've always had that bottle of whiskey there in, in the cupboard. Well, tonight I went to get the bottle of whiskey to fix some, some cocktails for the company. And it's not there. Yeah. Yeah, would you? Yes, yes, I'll be right here. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Oh, I thought maybe I well, I think we're all ready now. Oh, 
Well, Mrs. Delaney, we think you should eat with us. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not hungry. <laughs> and besides, you two haven't seen each other in a long time. I, I think you ought to be alone together. <laughs> Here. Uh, Marie, why don't you light the candle, honey? And then we'll have just the right atmosphere. Honey, do we have to eat by candlelight? I won't be able to see what I'm eating. Hello, Mr. Anderson. It's Mrs. Delaney. Did you ever see Doc? No, he never did come home. Listen, Mr. Anderson, I'm scared. Could you come over here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Doc? Good morning, honey. Morning paper here. I want to see the morning paper. Doc, we don't get a morning paper. You know that. Oh. Uh, I suppose I'm drunk or something. Is that what you're trying to say? No, Doc. Then give me the morning paper! Doc, 
Look, why don't you just sit down and be quiet, all right? Why wouldn't I be quiet? No reason. Where you been, Doc? What's it your business would have been? Been in the White House to talk to the President. What do you think of that? You just leave me alone. Doc, why did you do it? You know, Bruce was here and I had this beautiful dinner, big dinner all fixed oh, for Oh, so he fixed a beautiful dinner for Bruce. No, no, no. It was for you, too, Doc. Well, I don't want it. Don't get mad. Where's Marie? Uh, I don't know. She she didn't come home last night. Doc, she went out with Bruce. You know? uh, I suppose you sucked him up in bed together and and uh, peeked through the keyhole and um, applauded. No, Doc, don't talk like that. Now, Bruce is a nice boy. Yeah. You know they're going to get married. <laughs> oh, the poor bastard. He, he probably has to marry you just because she's pretty. He got amorous one time, just like I had to marry you. You and Marie are a couple of sluts. What are you good for? Hey, you can't even get up in the morning and get, fix my breakfast. You can't even sweep a floor until some bozo comes along and tries to make love to Marie. Then you fix the place up like it was Buckingham Palace or a Chinese cat house with perfume on the light bulbs and flowers and the gold and the, the green china was my mother's. Well, my mother didn't get those for horse toys. Hang it and give me another drink. Oh, 
Can't leave him here if he's gonna play around with hatchets. Okay, let's uh, let's get him to sit up, and then we'll try and talk to him. Uh, Come on, Doc. Let's go, Doc. Come on, Doc. Come on. Doc. Come on. Doc. It's Ed and Elmo. Uh, leave me alone. We're gonna take care of you. Doc. Wake up, Doc. Doc. Leave me alone, Doc. We're gonna take you away from here. Nobody's home. Uh, Any coffee? He's way past coffee. That'll help some. If we could uh, get something hot into his stomach. You would be eat something. Doc, how about some hot food, huh? City Hospital, Ed. Yeah, I guess that's what it's got to be. Call him. Were you going to take him? I don't know, Mr. Delaney. I want to try and talk to him first. Thanks. Don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Doc. Doc. If you can hear me, you squeeze my hand, huh? Good. Now listen, I've got some coffee here. Look, uh, me and Ed Anderson will be bringing in uh, Dr. Lane. Hmm? You got some room for him? Great, yeah. Yeah, you anytime Sit up in now. the chair and put mm -hmm. your head back against my arm, all right? Okay. Okay, let's go. Up. That's it. Now put your head back. That's lovely. Just hang on, hang on. Now open your mouth. <coughs> okay, a little bit. Swallow. Come on, that's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Again, come on, come on. Oh, now, open your mouth, Aaron. Huh? You're covered in vomit and you stink. Come on, open it up. Another one. Again. All right. Now listen, he's all, he's all right, Uncle. he's all right. Doc, you want to go to the city hospital? Don't see me. I just swear they put the crazy people Doc, listen to me. Listen to me. Doc, look at me. Look at me, Doc. You're crazy. You've been chasing Lola with a hatchet. Now, come on. Lola. Come on. Honey. Honey. Here you go, Doc. Honey. Oh, let him see me. Come on. No, don't. No. Come on. Oh, he's come on. God damn it. Oh, get out of here. Easy does it, Doc. Easy does it. Come on, Doc. Oh, all right. Get out of here, Doc. Get out of here. Doc, Doc, come on, open the door. Open up, Doc, let's talk it over, huh? Now get the squad, Doc. Come on, Doc, come on, Doc. 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 Doc, come on, you want us to call the cops? You can uh, off this jacket uh, of the cooler, huh? Uh, oh, fellow. Uh, no, no. Uh, right. Let me let me just one little little drink. You want a drink? I'll be out of it. Good one as more is not going to make any yeah. difference. No, no. Okay, Doc, come on. Yeah, I'll come be on. steady. We're going to take you downstairs. We'll yeah. give you a drink. Yeah. 
You're going to be all right, I promise, okay? Come on. Two old drunks together, Doc. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's all right, Doc. Come on, 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 Doc.
all right? Yeah. I'm all right. I'm all right, honey. Honest. Please don't stand there like I was gonna... gonna... I'm sorry. How have you been? I've been fine. Any news? I told you about Marie and Bruce on the phone, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope they'll be very happy. Yeah, maybe she'll come back for a visit sometime. Yeah. It's good to be home. Is it? 